I mean America anybody? America. Mine's a little bigger than yours though, I think. Yeah, but a Senko's supposed to sink. A sink oh, okay. Not that they're not Senkos, they're Flotos. America, people. America. What's going on everybody? That was really weird. I'm probably not going to do that again. That's totally not who I am. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. Today I got a good one for you. It is the 4th of July episode. I did something very similar to this last year. We're going to make our own like uh, soft plastics. I've got a finesse crawler. I've got a Senko. And I've even got my, my custom, not really custom, but it's the Guggen Baits Drag and Drop Slim Shake. We're gonna make some red, white, and blue baits with some, you know, our, our molds here, custom colors, and uh, then we're gonna take them to the old pond and see if we can sit the hook on some patriotic bass, if you know what I mean. It's gonna be a fun one. Hang out, and uh, there'll probably be a giveaway at the end. It'll be very patriotic, I'm sure. Let's go. Boom. We're gonna mix this stuff up. I've actually got another jug right there because I'm a little low. We're gonna make three cups right here. A little bit of red, a little bit of white, and a little bit of blue. A lot of people complain about these do it molds that, oh, this, they're sand cast and they don't come out shiny. Boom. A little bit of vegetable oil, like Pam or something. Spray that in there, it's gonna come out glistening. All right, folks, first color is gonna be white. Hit them with the diamond. Yeah, that's Hobby Lobby glitter. Again, y'all folks get so out of whack over this glitter. Straight up, it works fine. Everybody needs to chill out on the glitter. Like, oh, you need to buy it from Lurecraft or whatever. No, it's it's good. Good, my dude. It's fine. There's a lot of Hobby Lobby glitter that works absolutely just fine. Hit them with a little silver. All right, that color's ready to go. So here's my blue. Again, notice it went in white, now it's clear. Let's go with the blue. I don't want that to be like crazy blue, like where I can't see through it. Just a nice translucent blue, which is what I've got there. Hit it with the white glitter. Done. I'm gonna go with the red. It's a little deeper of a red than I thought. Fire red if I do it. Hit him with just a little bit of silver. Boom. Alright, now the two colors I need to warm up first. Or the white and red, make sure they're nice and hot. We're gonna shoot those dual, like the stripes. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Firm. A little bit of white on bottom, a little bit of red on top. I can deal with that. Boom, another set, white on bottom, red on top. All right, let's check out the Senkos. The thing I like about the Senkos is that there is no top or bottom, they're just a cylindrical bait. Boom, white on bottom, red on top. I'll show you what we're gonna do with these in a minute. We need to fix up these Senkos right here. Y'all can see them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take a razor blade, bang, and we're gonna cut Right around the worm sac, you know where that's got that little middle piece on the mold, it would be right here. Y'all see that little flat piece right in there? That's where the worm sac is, we're gonna cut the first part of that worm sac on all of these. So about right there, we're just gonna run it all the way down these worms. And we just got partial of a worm right here. We're gonna lay these back in the mold. Does not matter which way, completely cylindrical bait, so should not matter. Let's 
just like so. We're gonna close her back up. And this one's ready for blue. And I am gonna go right in the middle of the worm sack on these. You know what, let me get a fresh blade. Right in the center of these. I'm just gonna chop them. And just like that. Blue's gonna go on the top of those. All right, got these guys laid back in here. And we're about to go. Had that upside down. All four of these molds are loaded. All I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna take the dual injector off, but I'm only gonna inject one side and just start adding it to what we've already got. The blue on this looks ridiculously good. I'm pumped about this color. All right, let's see what we got here. Dang, look at that. Look at that. Right there, man. Let's go ahead and pop these off. I mean, America, anybody? America. Let's go. Boom. How about them Senkos? How about those guys? That's America, baby. All right, last but not least, I want to do the dragon drops. I want to just do a handful of dragon drops, maybe just even these three and some red, white, and blue. So that's what's up next. All right, so my colors are finishing up. What I'm thinking I need to do is I can't make one like that where I've got half and half. There's just not enough room. But if I can do like a white tail, red, and then blue in the head, like blue, red, white. Surely, hang on a second. That ain't the French flag, is it? Okay, so as long as I don't do blue, white, then red, we're not French. And we don't ever wanna be French. But we're going blue, red, then white. I don't think anybody has blue, red, then white. A white, am I reporting? Yeah. White tail. I may need to go blue next, actually. I think that's gonna work. You just don't need to overfill it or it'll run. Let's go red in the middle. Right, let's try to pop these guys out. Oh, dang. Already with a party foul, that tail did not come out. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah, this guy looks good. All right, there's one. Yeah, that guy looks good too. Got these guys. It's not a bad look right there. I actually kind of like that swirl with the red and the blue. Looks sick. All right, let me trim them up. All right, 100%. These are some of the coolest baits I've ever made. Look at that. All right, folks, so there you go. There's our Cinco's, five inch little Cinco's there. There is our finesse worms and our lone two drag and drops right there. All right, so that is done for the bait making. Hopefully I made this pretty short. I try to get those done pretty quickly. If you've got any questions, you can always DM me. I'll be happy to answer them. And it is time to get to the water. This is a 24 hour challenge. So we just got those made. Tomorrow morning I'm gonna hit the water with Chris and uh, we're gonna see if we can't get on some fish, some patriotic fish with using those baits. So let's go in three, two, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at a place we haven't been in a quite some time. We're back with the old Dink Express and the pond. We got Christopher right there. And we are, I'm decked out my, my little Catch Co. American shirt because it's the 4th of July episode. Y'all have already seen the baits we've made, but there they are again just to refresh everybody's memory. Those things are looking really good. They are much better than last year's I made. I'm really, really proud of those. Those look really, really good. Now, the question is, is can we get bid on them? So we're about to launch the boat. Look, Chris has like even made a little a little boat ramp. We're not sure if it's gonna work well yet, but we're gonna give it a try. So we're gonna launch the boat, we're gonna hop in the boat, we're gonna see if we can't get bit. I've got a drop shot, a little Texas rig. Uh, what are you starting with? Like a little Texas rig and a drop Texas shot too? Texas rig and drop shot. Okay, so we're both fishing pretty much the same thing. Did you know, so I've got the finesse worm and I've got the Senko. There's actually two Guggen bait dragon drops that are red, white, and blue as well just like a red or a blue then red then white i couldn't get a you know a, a pattern but i've got two of them in there i've only able to make two y'all saw the tail broken the other red, one white then blue not blue red and white 
Well, I wanted the head to be blue. I needed the tail to be white. That's not the colors. It doesn't have to go in order. I, mean, I look. My biggest concern <laughs> was that it wasn't the French flag. That was my biggest concern that I didn't make the French flag. There's is there's is uh, blue, white, and red. Blue, white, and red. Yeah. You know why? Because we don't surrender when we get in a fight. We're not French. Let's get on the water. We wait. So, Chris, do you want to start with the Cinco or the finesse worm or the drop shot? It don't matter. I don't really care either. I just want to get bit on at least one of each. I think the drop shot and the finesse worm probably pretty easy. It's the Cinco that I'll start with the Cinco. I've got a little bit of hesitation about. Mainly because I'm an idiot and I didn't put salt in the Cinco's. That should be fine. With the weight, it should be all right. But if we went like weedless or not weedless, weightless, uh, they'd have an issue sinking. Look at that. America, people. America. Oh, hang on. Hold on now. A little guy, a little patriot, little patriot. Whew, there you go. Little guy. Look at those parasites. Yeah, he's got little parasites on his tail. Little fella. Oh, Chris got one too. That's a little bigger than yours, though, I think. Uh, yeah, that's a lot bigger. You got a net? Get rid of mine. We got this. That fish may not be big enough for this, or maybe too big for this net. That's a good fish, buddy. That's a really good fish. That's a really good fish for in here. Cinco does it. Nice one. Uh, he doesn't have a tag. He's about to get a tag. So he's two pounds. Almost three. Two point. Two pounds, 13 ounces. Wow. Almost a three pounder. He's a 17 incher. Almost 17 and a half. And a little stick. 1046. 1046. Thank you for playing. Yes, have sir. a great boy. That's right. Have a have a have a happy fourth of July. Oh, a little, little, little wave goodbye. Goodbye. Nice, good-sized fish on the Cinco. Uh, so that's the finesse and the Cinco done. Little bitty fish, big fish. We can move to the drop shot if you want. That was a good little double up there. That's right. That was a good little double up. Now, I know I should have kept mine, but I didn't want yours to eat it, so I threw it back early. Guggen baits. You can't really call them Guggen squad baits because that's not the name. It's a Guggen bait. Those little... Uh, Actually, it's a bee fishing bait. Well, yeah, because I it's <laughs> they don't make this color. This is completely a custom color there. But if you guys haven't already figured out, I do a giveaway normally in a lot of these videos. I'm going to give away the pack of finesse worms that I've got. So this pack of finesse worms right here, all you got to do, well, y'all know what to do. Leave a, leave a comment on what your holiday plans are for this weekend. What are your 4th of July plans? Are you going fishing? Are you going to the lake? Are you hanging out with the family? Are you having a barbecue? What are you doing? You're not going to give away the Cinco's. No, I don't think, I don't want to give away the Cinco's because they haven't put salt in them. They're not acting right. No, I know it caught a big fish, but they're not acting right. They float. So, it's like a floating worm. Yeah, but a Cinco is supposed to sink. A sink O. Well, it's spelled S-E-N-K, not S-I-N. Well, I just made up the Cinco part. <laughs> like, I just thought it sounded really it's good. Stick because because I'm a really good bullshitter, the minute I thought I sink oh, see what I did there? But it's it's a floto. Those are flotos. Okay. It's a stick okay, bait. Okay, okay, here. Okay. We're gonna give away the pack of finesse worms and the flotos, okay? Not that they're not Cinco's, they're flotos. We're gonna give away the flotos. I cannot give away the Guggen baits because that's that's their bait. Um, that's why I only made two just for the purpose of this video, but I'll give away both bags. So we're gonna give away flotos and we're gonna give away finesse baits. Call it stick bait. Basically, that's the generic term. The floto stick bait, yeah. Oh, hold on now, hang on, fish. Got him. Got him. Yeah. No. It's got really light drag. Yay! Yeah, I probably should have set on him a little earlier. So one thing about a drop shot is it's really hard to actually like gut hook them. Like he's just hooked in the roof of his mouth. Whew, there we go. This one's not covered in parasites, so that's a good thing. We do have several that are covering parasites just from those, those, uh, whatever that is that those birds leave when they crap in the water. 
but we've got some red ears in here that should be doing doing some cleanup. Look how thick he is though. His back's pretty thick. Well, he's got a little belly on him, Chris. I think I think that the shad and stuff are actually really doing something here. Because we've let the pond rest for like a month. Or it's a little over a month, I guess now. And now we're back and these fish look they look bigger. Like they just look fatter. Alright, buddy. There he goes. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for the American baits right there made them just look look just like the flag we have now nicknamed these the floatos because you know i didn't put salt in them because i was making the finesse worms so they kind of float they're really i guess they float they're not they're not just like medium buoyant they're they're positively buoyant like they float so they are not cinco's they're floatos and then we've got the finesse worms which i actually like a floating finesse worm because it sticks up on the shaky head it chris is trying to hide from us back there He's also sporting a little bit of red, white, and blue theme going. I like it. I like it. So if you guys want to win these, you know what you need to do. Just let me know what your plans are for the 4th. I think this is coming out on the 2nd. Is that a Thursday? It's a Thursday video, so July 2nd. So you've got a couple days. I will announce the winner on Sunday, uh, July 5th, of who won these baits. Um, if anything else, you can just keep them because they look super cool. Uh, but they actually do catch fish, and I think we've proven that. So I'm going to throw those in the back of the truck, save those for the winter. As always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn it from red to gray, and uh, ding no notifications so you'll be notified when I drop the next video because I'm putting that in the description of who won. And uh, that's going to do it for today's video. You want to you give them the slap out, Chris? Later. Later.